Hello everybody, um, today's video that I'm doing for you is with baby Harry. Um, he is four weeks old so I thought right I'll do a video with him. He may cry because he's a baby. So um, That's what he does. That's what he does most of the time. But um, yeah we just wanted to show him quickly because so many of you have been really supportive and wanted to see what he looks like. I don't really know who he looks like because he hasn't really got that many features at the moment. He's got my chin, but I think he's got my face shape and Ian, he looks like Ian really, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it really. It was, he's lovely. He's lovely. Do you want to hold him up closer yeah. so you can see? Little man. Hello. Hello, Pixie Will Madness. So I probably won't do lots of videos with him because I think he's so little, it's a bit unfair. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do one to say thank you for your support. And, and about the labour. I had a lot of you have asked what my labour was like. Horrific. But no worse than anyone else's. It was 55 hours. Um, we didn't sleep for four days. Went in on the mon sorry, went to bed Monday and went to bed again on the Saturday. Yeah. It was long. Um, I had the easy job though, obviously. Well, I don't know if it is because you have to see that your partner suffer and I think nothing prepares a man for that. At least a woman can get into her mind zone mm -hmm. and um, the mind is quite powerful. But I had... Water birth, first of all, yeah. which then he decided that he was going to start coming out and then go back inside again. Yeah, I, they, <laughs> I got four centimetres dilated and they put me in the pool because I wanted a natural birth. And um, he loves baths and went back up to one centimetre dilated after two hours of being in there I was like something's wrong and I'm not feeling it as strong so then had to go through the whole um, thing again but he was back to back and his head had turned so they had me doing exercises without pain relief trying to pull him back out oh it was horrific um, and then finally on the Thursday late night they said right last thing to do is go walk around the hospital um, and try and encourage him to drop down and on my way walking round without scream, trying to scream um, the lady who we went in and saw on the Tuesday um, so midwife second or third shift it was one of so her second or third shift and she saw me and said why are you still here and I said oh he's not come out yet and she was like you shouldn't be going through this much pain you know it shouldn't be on for this long so they got me in and because they were worried about his heartbeat they gave me an epidural in the end, which was heavenly. Um, and then pretty simple from then on. Yeah. Um, apart from a few of the things that women have to go through after, which I'm not going to go into on here. Um, it's been as good as gold. But he has been lovely. And, you know, you just sit and it's all worth it because you just cry when you look at him. It's a bit weird because it takes a while to realise that, that, that you made that and it's yours. So, um... He's going to have a little cry now, yeah. I think. He's just really inquisitive. He wants to be walked around and wants to look at different things all the time. So he's quite an inquisitive little man. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So thank you so much for your support. And anyone else that's going through it, um, it's absolutely fine. You know, it hurts, I'm not going to lie. But it's so worth it for what you get at the end of it. And... Um, you know, hopefully yours won't be as long as mine. One of my friends just gave birth last night um, and she had a little girl, so, which is lovely. So congratulations, Tanya. Not our Tanya, another Tanya. Um, <laughs> yeah, for people, people were like, Tanya had a baby. Not that Tanya. Um, and yeah, I just think it's, it's amazing. It completely changed your outlook on life and uh, in a good way. And uh, yeah, good luck anyone else that's going through it, and good luck to the husbands or partners. It's um, quite difficult for them as well, I think, to see you going through pain and not really being able to help. But a good rub on the back really helps. Mm -hmm. And my thing was, my mum was so worried because I'd been in for so long, and I hadn't, um, I didn't really want anyone to know I'd gone in because I didn't want my mum to worry. And she came in to see me and brought me a boost chocolate boost energy thing and I hadn't eaten for two days and it was the best thing in the world so make sure you drink lots of fluids and get a boost. Lots of boosts. Lots of boosts. And wine gums and coffee. Well for him. 
I didn't even see you eat any wine gums or drink any coffee. I was so in my own little dream. But um, so worth it when you get your little baby at the end of it. Um, yeah, and that's it really. Yeah. Everything's pretty good. Tilly's laying on the floor down here. She loves it. So um, yeah, we've been very lucky that Tilly, which is my dog, if other people don't know, has um, been amazing with him. She just loves him. She doesn't really go too near him. She has a sniff every morning and then lays next to him for the day. And it's really cute, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So this is Harry Haste, and he is a new member of the Pixie Woo tribe. And uh, yeah, he's just lovely. He's put in lots of little faces. <sighs> you can say whether you think he looks like me or Ian. You can't really see him. Oh, look at him, he's making all his noises. But that's Harry. Oh, come on. Having a little cry. So here's Tilly, she's decided to come and jump up and uh, join us. Thank you for watching, and he's about to kick off, so we've got to go and do some serious cuddle time. Um, there you go. Uh, and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.